welcome to Red House. My name's Nicole, I'm the Collections and House Officer here and today I'm going to show you around Red House and tell you all about it. This is the Red House Garden Snug Project. When William Morris and his friend Philip Webb designed the house, they designed the garden to be an extension of the house and they would work together. The garden was split into enclosures dubbed garden rooms that were lined with trellis and filled with sensory flowers as a place for William Morris's family and his friends to sit and play and create together. Our garden snug will be lined with hand-weaved wattle and filled with the roses and the natural British plants that were so important to William Morris and inspired many of his artistic designs and his creations that we'll see later in the house. We are in the entrance hall to Red House. This painting on the front of the settle is titled The Joyous Guard and it is a self-portrait of William Morris and his friends. They are seated inside a medieval garden scene dressed in costume and it represents those medieval paintings and manuscripts that the Pre-Raphaelite artwork was inspired by. We have William Morris here in green seated on the left opposite his wife Jane in pink. On the far end we have Edward and Georgiana Byrne-Jones seated on the ground and standing above them is Elizabeth Siddle. We also have three unfinished characters in the centre. This painting was started by William Morris and then carried on by Gabrielle Dante Rossetti, but unfortunately it was never finished. We also believe the painting to be a partial representation of the Red House garden. They're seated beneath apple trees and Red House was once surrounded by an ancient apple orchard. In the background you can see trellis weaved with pink roses and this painting has served as one of our main inspirations behind the Garden Snug project. Morris's love of design got absolutely everywhere at Red House, even inside the settle itself. Never finish this little bit is all we have. The stained glass panels reflect the age that Willie Morris and his friends were when they came here. In their mid-twenties, the art and design was all about being playful and fun. William Morris himself designed and painted the flowers on these panels, but he didn't feel confident enough in his artistic skills to do the birds, so he asked his friend and architect Philip Webb to do them for him. They emphasised the connection between the house and the garden that they wanted here. You can gaze through the panels in the beautiful sunshine out towards the well courtyard. We're now standing at the top of the staircase and this beautiful ceiling was painted as a communal effort between William Morris and his fellow Pre-Raphaelites. Morris would design the repeating pattern and stencil the ceiling with what he wanted and his friends would come along afterwards and paint the pattern into place. The playful nature of these young artists shines through with a smiley face that replaces part of the repeating pattern in the very corner of the ceiling. The National Trust uncovered it during conservation on this ceiling and we don't know whether or not anyone else knew about it beforehand. We're now here in the drawing room at Red House. The mural behind me was painted by Edward Byrne Jones as a wedding present to William and Jane Morris. And the faces of the husband and wife in the wedding ceremony are based on William and Jane. Above it, you can see the first repeating pattern of pink flowers by William Morris. And those pink flowers appear again in his first ever wallpaper design named Trellis, which was designed here at Red House. This room was William and Jane Morris's bedroom and the mural behind me depicts biblical characters from the book of Genesis. This mural was uncovered from beneath a wardrobe by the National Trust in 2013 and it took an amazing conservation effort to bring it to the standards that vis visitors can now appreciate it. The current theory is that it was painted by Elizabeth Siddle but we can't know for sure because most of her paintings are very much smaller and therefore we can't really compare them. We're now 
in the Red House studio, the brightest of all the rooms in the house, with eight different windows in four different directions, it's always filled with light. William Morris would come here during the early days of his pioneering design company to create the patterns that we all know now. The first three of those patterns, trellis, fruit and daisy, were designed here in this room, inspired by nature and the view of the garden and the countryside that William Morris saw outside of these windows. I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of Red House and when time's familiar I hope that you'll come back and visit the house and garden again. It's only with your support that we can look after special places like this and thank you so much for that. Thank you.